So there has been a big update to the Tesla app. You can now use Siri to unlock your car using an Apple Watch or an iPhone. Let me show you how it works. So Tesla have enabled shortcuts for iOS devices. So if you own an iPhone or an iPad, you can now use these shortcuts. Let me show you on the app. Hey there, welcome to the video. So let's just jump straight into it. What the hell are these shortcuts? Well, essentially what you need to do to run these on your iPhone or your iPad or your Apple Watch is an app called Shortcut. So let me show you here. I'm gonna get my iPhone up and run you through it live. So this is what happens when you open up the Shortcuts app. Now this will already be installed on your iPhone. If it's not, just simply download it from the App Store. Right, now, when you open this up, you'll see your shortcuts here. And this is where you can actually automate a lot of the stuff that comes in on your iPhone. Now, we're looking, of course, at the Tesla section here. So if you scroll down, um, you can even see we've got stuff for the M&S card. So many other apps may have shortcuts as well. So I have one set for uh, loyalty cards. When I walk into the shop, I can say, hey, open up that app and it will open up that loyalty card rather than me trying to find it when I'm in that shop. So if we go to Tesla here, you can click this and you can see all. Now these are all of your Tesla shortcuts. So we can lock the Tesla, we can unlock it, precondition, stop preconditioning, enable sentry mode, disable sentry mode, enable dog mode, disable dog mode, open Tesla charge port, close it, start Tesla charging, stop the charging, open Tesla bonnet, uh, close it and uh, close the booth. A lot of these you'll be thinking, well, I can kind of do that from the app. So really, what's the point in this? Well, the magic here is when you turn on Siri. Hey, open Tesla bonnet. So when you first open this app at this section, you'll have a little bar at the top and it'll say enable Siri shortcuts. Now I've turned this off at the moment because I don't want to activate Siri as I talk about this and I'll try to cancel out that word every time I say it in the edit. Because I did actually film this video before, notice that one, everything was out of focus, but also what happened when I was playing through the footage myself, of course I'm playing back out loud, me saying, hey, you know, and uh, my phone was going off and actually opened the bonnet and I was about a mile away from the car. So nightmare. And that's one issue I'm going to talk about. Okay. So if I press one of these, I'm going to hit start preconditioning Tesla. So I'm going to hit that and that's going to enable the shortcut. You can see at the top there, the Tesla app itself uh, sends us a notification saying started preconditioning Tesla. Tesla is the name of my car. Now, if we go to the Tesla app, I'm going to hit down on there you can see that the car is, is preconditioning. It's not like a supercharger preconditioning, but it's starting up the fans and things like that. So you can see that's activated there. If we hit the stop preconditioning Tesla, you can see it's stopped. And if we go back to the app, it's stopped the preconditioning. Where this gets powerful is you can use this with the Siri shortcuts. So as I say at the top, this will come up here first. I've turned mine off, but I'm gonna um, turn it on in a second just to show you how it works, but essentially enable that. And that means you can access Siri shortcuts from your phone or from your Apple Watch. Now, the great thing about Siri is that it also works with the Apple Watch as well. So let me show you that. Open Tesla charge port. It means when you're walking back from your supermarket with tons of bags, if you own an Apple Watch, you can say, hey, open the boot and your boot's gonna open if you've enabled that shortcut. Or you can say, open the bonnet or you can say start preconditioning. So it's really good in that scenario. Of course, if you don't have an Apple Watch, it doesn't matter. You can still do it with your iPhone. Hey, unlock Tesla. Hey, lock Tesla. Tesla locked. Doing it with your voice is a little bit easier than opening up your phone and locking it, going into the Tesla app and doing that function. Now what you can do as well and where shortcuts become super powerful is that you can make your own automations. So essentially what that means is if you go to the automation sections here at the bottom, you can see it says create personal automation. So you can do that. And then where this gets kind of slightly complicated but quite exciting is that you can do it at a time of day, when your alarm has stopped, when you sleep, when you arrive somewhere, all of these triggers that will set this um, automation running. So essentially what you could do, is, for example, let's just say you start your car to precondition every day at 8 a.m., but actually you don't really get out of bed ready in time. You maybe leave it at nine and, and your car's preconditioning pre too early. What you can do is you can say, 
When my alarm has stopped and you hit that stop button, then precondition my Tesla and turn on the heated seats. So it's gonna do all of that based on something else. So that's where it can get super, super powerful. I actually made a little note of some other um, ones that you could do. So you could have a morning routine, like we just mentioned, when your alarm goes off, it's gonna start your preconditioning. You could do a sentry mode activation shortcut. So um, when you're at an unfamiliar place and you've walked away, you could just say, start sentry mode at a certain time. So for example, here in Manchester, I don't have it on generally during the day, but if I'm gonna be going out during the night, I think, you know what, I might turn it on so I could just activate that Siri shortcut to come on if I'm still in this location after say 8 p.m. It saves you thinking about it. It's just gonna happen automatically um, either with a Siri shortcut or based on something in time or where you are, that kind of thing. So I know it sounds a little complicated, but it's actually not that bad when you get your head around it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on these Siri shortcuts just to show you how they work. So I'm gonna turn on Siri again. I have to be careful here. So I've enabled Siri. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the button in to activate Siri. I'm not gonna say the catchphrase because that will set yours off potentially as well. So here we go. Start preconditioning Tesla. And you can see it started preconditioning. Stop preconditioning Tesla. And you can see it's stopped. Now bear in mind, I'm just gonna turn this off quickly again. You don't have to be within the Shortcuts app to do that. Once you've turned on Siri for the very first time, you can do it while your iPhone is completely locked. So you can have your phone in your pocket, you can do it from your watch or your iPhone. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is, is it a little bit too easy to set this off? Could someone else who has access to your phone and it's unlocked, maybe unlock your bonnet or something like that and then you can't go and do it. You know, at least with the app, you kind of have to go into the app, you have to press it, sometimes you get a confirmation. What I would like to see them add here is a confirmation. So when you ask something that there's no going back from, like maybe opening the boot or the bonnet, especially the bonnet because it can't close itself back down at the moment, it would be good if it asked you, do you definitely want to open it first? You know, because it's just a simple command back and forth with uh, Siri and I think that would really help things. It does make the car a little less secure, I would say, in that way. But you can, of course, choose which shortcuts you want. So you could delete all of the other shortcuts if you want to and just have the ones that are relevant to you. Maybe you don't want it to ever unlock the car or lock the car. Maybe you just want it to open and close the boot. Now that's one shortcut actually that's not working on here at the moment. A lot of people have messaged me about this and they can't get that one to work and I can confirm it doesn't work for me. I've tried renaming the shortcut, I've tried creating my own shortcut, it just doesn't seem to work. So this will definitely be updated because this is the shortcut, let's be honest, that we all want. The rest of it, I think we're pretty happy to do within the app, but opening the boot, that's the dream. That's the one that we want to use when we're coming back from the shop. Now there is another way you can use this what you can do on your iPhone is you can have these widgets. You can see I've got a, a weather widget here, but I'm just gonna change this one temporarily. So I'm going to uh, remove that widget and then we're going to add in a new widget and we can do maybe uh, a smart stack. So let's add this smart stack in here. And then what you wanna do, instead of looking for the Tesla app like you would normally do, go to shortcuts and then you can see here, we've got some shortcuts here. Um, set seat here so I can add that, add that widget. Of course you can add any shortcuts you want, but now you have a Siri shortcut to activate the seat here. So I can just tap that and you can see there when I press that, it says seat position, front left, front right, rear left, rear center, rear right, rear right. So it's quite handy actually, isn't it? So if you wanna activate these shortcuts and you maybe you don't wanna speak out loud, maybe that's not your thing, you can add these shortcuts to your iPhone or iPad's home screen using the widgets. And just don't look for the Tesla app, look for the shortcuts that are already in there. There's loads already set up. You can hit the plus button to add some more, or you can play around with the automations to add your own. So I think it's pretty cool. If you were walking with your shopping bags, you could open your boot before you got to your car. The only thing I'm worrying about is, is this too easy to access? Could you accidentally open your car door without really realizing it by hitting one of these shortcuts? Let me know, are you gonna use this in the comment section below? But what I like is that you now no longer need an app like Watch for Tesla. You can now do all of this directly from the Tesla app and the iPhone shortcuts app. I hope that's helped you. And I might experiment a little more into kind of what kind of shortcuts we could do with the Tesla and maybe do a video about all the different kinds of shortcuts you can do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.